Okay, let's see how we can effectively use a remote desktop gateway server to proxy RDP requests to internal RDP servers. So I'm going to open the MSTSC remote desktop connection uh, that we're all familiar with. Go to Show Options, Advanced, Settings, and here is where you configure your remote desktop gateway server address. So by default, we will uh, see it selected to automatically detect, but we want to use a specific RD gateway server. So I've plugged in my rdgw.cloud.local uh, address there. Another option to note on the screen is the bypass RD gateway server for local addresses. So if you unselect that, uh, the RD Gateway server will literally be used for any RDP connection uh, using this MSTSC client. Some may want to bypass the gateway uh, in terms of internal LAN connections. So I am going to leave that unselected because I want to use my RDP Gateway for all connections in this, uh, in this use case. Also another handy setting is the use my RD gateway credentials for the remote computer. If you have this selected, which is a really handy setting, it will pass through the credentials that are entered both from the remote desktop gateway and pass those to the internal RD, uh, RDP server. So I want to select that, so we're going to leave that selected, hit OK, go to the general tab, Going to type in a different server and we are going to test a connection using the RD gateway. Just making sure the settings uh, stuck there. Click connect. And as you see on this screen, the Windows Security dialog box will actually show you that you are not only connecting to the remote computer you are also connecting via the RD Gateway. So it's defined here, RD Gateway Server, and then our target RDP server is defined as Remote Computer. So enter password, and as you can see, we have a successful connection. So close that, and that is how we can use the RD Gateway on a client RDP connection.